Hi everyone, Happy New Year and just sharing a few ideas on the ABC of joy and abundance for 2019. Of course people have lots of different um, ideas for the year, inspirational ideas which is great and because it's a three year 2019, 2019, I've just chosen three words for each letter. So just starting with A, A is for acceptance. Accepting actually what we can't change um, is a big step um, and not complaining about it, being drained by that. So also accepting what we can change and take action based on that. You know, what can you do something about and focus on that. This is a year of adventure, trying things maybe you haven't tried before or change the way you do certain things. See it as an adventure, enjoy it and definitely take action aligned with your purpose and um, your wishes and desires. B is for being present. Breathe brings us back to who we are and we only have power in the present moment. So this year, just remind ourselves to take time to be still, to be present and um, realize our power in the present moment using things like the breath to bring us back to who we are. B is for better and not better than other people, not comparing to other people ever because that gets us in trouble, but better than we were yesterday. Um, so just at the end of the day, look at what we could have done better today, but not to be harsh on ourselves, just to realize there's always room for improvement. And the Japanese have a lovely word, Kaizen, which means constant improvement. Why not? You know, if we're not growing, they say we're dying. Just keep growing, keep getting better and believe in your vision, believe in yourself, believe in other people. You know, the media, um, you know, the TV, you know, there's so many negative things. Just keep believing that people have, um, you know, a luminous nature as we do and um, amazing things can happen this year. C for creativity. Um, find an outlet for your creativity, whether it's drawing, um, whether it's dance, whether it's music, whether it's um, going for walks in nature. Just find an outlet for that. Very important to take some time for that. Collaboration. This year is a year also of look at who you could be perhaps working with to contribute more to, to your community or society. And, you know, as we know, synergy, when two people or three people come together, the energy is, is um, much greater. And connection is key. Um, as you know, I've been studying Qigong 25 years or so, taking time daily to connect with the universal energy that's always there around us. If you're religious or you call it God, that's fine. The field of all possibilities, that's fine. Just everything that helps you connect be still, take time to meditate, mindfulness. When we have this connection, we're guided, we're inspired, we have a mental clarity. So that's a quite important point. And if you want help this year, there's one-to-one -one, um, online work I'm doing with Qigong. Um, there's workshops. Just look at the website, flowinghealth.co.uk. And final word, which slipped in right at the end, is be curious. It's on the right-hand side even though there's only three C's, but be curious because when you're curious, the ego stops working. Everything is possible. That's why children who are always curious, somehow um, their possibilities are endless in life. As adults, we tend to be less and less curious. So be curious, be open and have an amazing year, everyone. And really wish you all the best with your health, joy and abundance. Thank you.